everyone welcome back to my channel Sharon Lawless video tutorial in this video I'm going to show you how to access USB boot disk in UEFI BIOS mode or legacy support BIOS mode on Windows 10 laptop this video will show you how to change your BIOS settings to boot from a USB device if for some reason you do not see your USB device in the list of possible boot devices this is a common problem in the more recent series of HP Pavilion laptops let's see how to access USB boot disk in UEFI BIOS mode or legacy support BIOS mode on Windows 10 laptop. Okay, let's start. Open the Windows settings by pressing Windows logo key plus I, then scroll down and select update and security. On the left band of your screen, select the recovery option. Then on the right band under advanced startup, click on restart now. After four while, then you will see a blue screen window like this. Choose an option. Keep in mind here do not double click on the selected options ok then select troubleshoot with a single click then select advanced options with a single click and then select EFI firmware settings then click on restart to reboot the system after for a while then it will present a list of options associated with different keys now we want to access the BIOS setup utility page Press F10 key to access the BIOS setup utility page. From the BIOS setup utility page, use your right arrow key to move to the system configuration tab. Then arrow key move down to boot options and hit enter. Then you will see a page like this. If you want to boot from USB boot drive in UEFI BIOS mode on laptop or PC, follow these steps. Then use your arrow key, go down to your USB device on the UEFI boot order. Here select USB diskette on key or USB hard disk. Now use the required function key to move the USB diskette or USB hard disk to top on the boot order. Here I will be using the F6 key to move the USB diskette or USB hard disk to top on the boot order. Ok, if you want to boot from internal CD DVD ROM drive using the F6 key to move the internal CD DVD ROM drive to top on the boot order ok once complete to save the changes and exit press F10 keep in mind remove all devices from the USB port and after that insert your USB boot drive select yes and press enter it will boot automatically from the USB diskette or USB hard disk now starting the installation process you can continue to the installation process until finish now i will show you how to access usb boot disk in legacy support bios mode you start your pc then quickly press escape with startup then it will show you a list of options associated with different keys press f10 key to access the bios setup utility page then you will see windows like this then use your arrow key to move to the system configuration tab. Then arrow key move down to boot options and hit enter. Then you will see a page like this. Now arrow key move down to legacy support. Here you will discover legacy support is set to disabled and to able to boot from a USB device on startup you want to set this option to enabled. To do that press the enter key it will open possible options enabled or disabled then use your arrow key to move to choose enabled and then hit enter then select yes in the dialog box and then hit enter then use your arrow key go down to your usb device on the uefi boot order here select the usb diskette on key or usb hard disk now use the required function key to move the usb diskette on key or usb hard disk to top on the boot order here I will be using the F6 key to move the USB diskette on key or USB hard disk to top on the boot order. If you want to boot from internal CD DVD ROM drive, using the F6 key to move the internal CD DVD ROM drive to top on the boot order. Ok, once complete, to save the change and exit, press F10. Keep in mind, remove all devices from the USB ports and after that insert your USB boot drive. Select yes and press enter then you will see a page like this here you will see a confirmation code number then type code number on the keyboard and press enter key to 
complete the change. It will boot automatically from the USB diskette. Now starting the installation process. You can continue to the installation process until finish. I hope this video helped for you. Thanks for watching and supporting. If you have any issues, so please let me know in the comment section below. Your contribution is more confidence. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful videos. Once again, thanks for watching and supporting. See you next video. Bye. Take care.